Hello everyone, I'm Reno Cabral at SystemRecipes.com. Today's video is going to be about switching between the installation modes. So as you see over here, I got Server 2012 GUI version installed. So I'm going to switch from a GUI to the core and back from the core to the GUI. So to do that, let's go to the Server Manager, click on Manage, click on Remove Roles and Features. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to remove the feature. So click next, click next again. So we don't really need to remove any roles. So click next again. In features, if you scroll down, if you go to user interface and infrastructure and untake server graphical shell, as well as graphical management tool and infrastructure, click on remove feature click next you just tick mark restart the destination server automatically if required click yes and click on remove this might take a while so I'm just gonna pause in between So as you see over here, the system has restarted. So let's log in and have a look. So as you go to log in, the first thing that you see is the user login icon is gone. So it's getting, we, we're trying to log in now into the core server 2012. So let's log in. And as we have logged in into server 2012, you see in the core, you don't really get much all that you get is a, a command prompt so if you want to move back from the core server 2012 to a GUI you got to go to PowerShell so let's type in PowerShell in PowerShell if we type in import hyphen module space server manager by default all your modules have not been loaded so every time you want to work on a module you have to manually load them so I'm just loading server manager now that we're in the server manager let's install Windows feature so type in install by the way all this PowerShell commands are going to be in the description for you so let's type in install hyphen Windows feature space server hyphen GUI hyphen MGMT for management hyphen infrastructure infra okay let's put a comma space server hyphen GUI hyphen shell space hyphen restart okay so the command goes as install hyphen windows feature space server GUI management MGMT space infra infra this is the short form for management infra infrastructure comma space server hyphen GUI hyphen shell space hyphen restart and the restart is going to restart basically the server once the installation is done so let's hit enter 
So as you see over here, the installation is taking place. So this can take a while, so I'm just going to pause again. So as you see over here, the system has restarted. So let's log in. And as you see over here, you got the login icon back again. So let's log in. And there you go. You got your server 2012 GUI installed back again. So there's another feature called minimum server interface. So minimal server interface helps you finding a way in between um, the GUI and the core. So it will take away the start screen, it will take away Windows Explorer, it will take, take away Internet Explorer, it will take away Control Panel, all of that, which we actually don't really use much on the server. But the good thing is that you can still access the server manager, you can access Active Directory users and computers and things like that. You can basically do whatever you want to do on the server manager. So let me just show you how to do that. So to get the minimal server interface, you have to go to manage, just like back, same thing again, uh, remove roles and features, click next, click next again, and next again. In the features, if you just scroll down, and if you click on the user interface and infrastructure, and underneath and under user in interface and infrastructure, untick server graphical shell. So you still want the graphical management tool and infrastructure. All you have to do is just untick server graphical shell and click next and click restart and click on yes and remove. So it's just the same thing again but just instead of taking all of it you're just taking one feature off. So I'm just going to pause again. So as you see the system has restarted now. So let's log back in and have a look what minimal server interface looks like. So in minimal server interface you got the core. If you just if I just minimize the server manager, you got just the core screen as you see. You don't have the start screen, you don't have the Internet Explorer or the Windows Explorer or anything like that. So all you have is the command prompt, just like the core server 2012. But the good thing is that you got server manager. So you can go to manage, add roles and features, remove roles and features, add servers and stuff like that. So you can go to tools and uh, once you install the roles or the features, most of your roles will be visible over here. So if you say, for example, if you install Active Directory users and computers, you're going to see Active Directory users and computers over here. So you can access all of those tools over here. So this is what minimal server user interface, uh, minimal server interface looks like. I hope my video has been useful for you guys. Um, please don't forget to click on the like button if you have really liked this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future videos. Thanks for watching.